believe this is tutorial number eight in part of a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. I'm putting out a new video every Wednesday, so if you're watching these as I put them out, which is uh, late September or late um, 2013, early 2014, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these Wednesday videos. Also, check out my Monday and Friday videos on other topics. And um, today we are going to be uh, working. Again, within the interpreter, we're working with uh, Python 3, is what the series is about. So I'm in the interpreter here, and I actually just did an update uh, before recording this video. And look, there's even a newer version. This one's only a few days old um, of Python that has been posted. So uh, not that it's going to make a difference in anything we're doing. I'm sure the changes were minor, uh, and it might have just been recompiled because it still says the same Python version. Anyway. Um, I don't know why I got excited about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we're going to look back at the print command, some things that we've talked about in the past, and showing you two things, uh, two ways, or one way to do two different things. Yeah, let me just start over again. We're looking at things we've already done, but a different way of doing them, and there's two of them. Sure, okay. So we got our print command where we can say print. hello world and it prints hello world great um we can also say print uh and well let's actually let's let's create a variable first uh i'll say name equals tom and i'll say print hello space plus tom okay so we get an error. Oh, not Tom. Sorry. Name. There we go. So this this was a mistake because it thought I was trying to use a variable called Tom, which does not exist. We want the variable name, so we get hello Tom. And this is how I showed you do it in the past. We can we have to put this empty space here, uh, so there's a space between hello and the name. If we don't have that, it's hello Tom. Hello Tom. Um, but another option is we could put instead of a plus sign a comma, which does insert a space. And there are times where you do want to use the plus sign and not the, the comma and the other way around as well. But let's, just to let you know, you can use either when you're working with just plain strings like this. And the comma does uh, negate the need to put that extra little space in there, which always looks kind of weird, but that's how it's done in, in, in many cases. So we have that. That is one thing I've shown you in the past and another way of doing it. Just the comma instead of the plus and uh, having that space there or not having a space there if you're using the comma. Another thing I showed you in the past, we can say print and if I have a string I can say this is line one and then I can say backslash n which means new line. I can say this is line two and I'll hit enter and we have two lines printed out. Uh, you don't want spaces like a space here because then that line's off center because the backslash n is just a new line character. It's a little thing you don't see right here that says go to the next line. Okay? But there's another way, let's say you have a lot of lines you want to print. Uh, there's another way you can do it. Uh, what you can do is you can say uh, you can put three quotation marks like that and then I can say enter and you see because those three locations, uh, my Hold on, I messed that up. I was saying the right thing, but I thought if I hit enter after typing, it would put it on the next line. Let's clear the screen. I hit control L to do that. It's not really a, a Python thing. It's more my, my operating system thing. So if you're on a different operating system, that may not work. Um, so anyway, we can say print and then three quotations, which means that you're going to be working with multiple lines. I can say this is line one, enter. And I can say this is line two, enter. This is line three, enter line four, line five, and I can finish it with three quotations and, oh, eh, it should be three quotations and a parenthesis. Um, so we have, we have a blank line here because I, I put an extra line here, as you can see. Um, but that's another way to print multiple lines. Let's do it again. We'll say print, and I can go three I can so this is line one enter and since I didn't close it off with the three 
uh, quotation marks in the parentheses. It knows we're not done. And I can say line two, three quotation marks in the parentheses. And there we go. Again, uh, we had the extra space there because I had an extra new line character within our string between it and the three quotation marks. So this is great if you want to have a welcome screen of some sort to your script. You can say print and I can say welcome to my script. I hope you enjoy it. Created by Chris on in 2013 and whatever you could also have you know um, I can go like this and have a little divider line yeah just like that that's cool and then just like that and we have our little welcome screen I should put a little divider line at the top too that would look nicer so that's just looking at different ways of doing things that we've already done but just other ways of doing them and in different cases one might be better than the other for what you're trying to to do so uh, printing multiple lines that way and also the comma and plus sign thing which we'll talk about a little more in a future video on times you don't want to use the plus sign uh, besides uh, you know what we were just talked about today so anyway I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day Oh, and also visit my website, filmstoychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. Have a great day.